<laughs> oh, what does that say? Good evening, everyone. This is the July 8th meeting of the Merrimack Agriculture Commission. Uh, welcome to all listening. Uh, it's been a long 110 days or so since we've spoken, but we're here tonight to uh, continue business. And uh, moving forward, comments from the press or public. Moving, f we're going to move into new business. We have an interview with a um, recent high school graduate who is interested in pursuing a career in environmental science. Is that a fair question or answer? Yeah. <laughs> um, welcome, Holly, to the meeting. We'd like to each of us ask you a question or two, and uh, maybe you could explain your interest in your future major. Okay. Please. You're next. Um, so personally, I've always been interested in working with animals, like ever since I, I was a little, little kid. Um, I started volunteering and um, going to camp at um, the uh, Auburn, um, Nature oh my gosh, Center. the Auburn like um, Audubon Society. Mm -hmm. That's where I normally go for camp, and then I also started doing Concord. Um, and it kind of just really sparked there. Like, um, I always enjoyed helping them clean out the animal cages, like working with the kids, and like everything about it just kind of felt right. Mm. Um, so definitely, I want to work so badly <laughs> um, with the world around me and like work with animals and plants. And it's just always kind of been a passion. <laughs> That's very nice. Um, now you're graduated. You mm -hmm. went to Alvern for a couple courses? Yep. Yeah, last year. And you've been accepted to school. Mm -hmm. And uh, you're going to be on campus? Yeah, well, not until January, but. Um, oh, is that right? Yeah, so they're not letting us go back until um, January just because they don't know where this situation will be. Um, but we will be going to campus in January. Will you start the September semester or not? So we do. We're doing um, a hybrid learning program. So we're doing online classes, and we're actually getting more credits for doing the online classes because they feel bad, like, oh, you can't be on campus. Like, <laughs> might as well make it worthwhile. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, you got to get your liberal arts stuff anyway. You know, yeah. <laughs> it's a good chance to get caught up that way. Um, Unity has the program you wanted, Unity College, mm -hmm. four-year program. And then then you apply for further, um, I don't know, what's the, what's the word I want to use? Education? Yeah, I, yeah I, I guess once you graduate, you'll, you'll, you'll start applying for jobs. Yeah, I point. was thinking to go to for my master's. I really want to try and go for my yeah. master's um, in wildlife bio. And, um, no kidding. Oh. I definitely want to work. One of my dreams has been working as like one of the main biologists for Fish and Game of New Hampshire. Mm -hmm. um, I really like the idea of doing that. It's definitely um, a passion of mine. Good for you. Is there uh, one particular area you would like to focus in, or you're just kind of broad and wherever you fell, you'd be happy to go there? Um, really, I'd be happy anywhere, but um, definitely I really want to work in the Lakes region. I think it would just be really fun, um, either that or like up in northern New Hampshire, um, over in Pittsburgh and stuff. I think it would be really cool. <laughs> you mean to study bears or moose? Is this something you're looking to do or more aquatics or um, amphibians? Or so I'm probably more interested in ornithology. I really love working with birds. That's definitely been my thing. <laughs> That's great. Well, so you're going to go to Lake Umbagon. <laughs> uh, who offers the master program? You don't know yet. I haven't planned that far yet, That's but. <laughs> How's your high school grade point? Um, I think last time I checked, it was a three point two. I yeah. don't quote me on that. I think it was around that area, though. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Any restrictions? On ours, no. I think we have them all. Mm -hmm. Question? Uh, no. Best. I, I think that if you have certainly a, a goal, <laughs> you know, and I think, you know, working in fishing game, I, I just think forestry and all of that is really a cool, you know, place to, to live. And when I watch all the travel programs and you see all the people out in the national parks and the rangers and things, and I say, gee, how interesting that is, you know, because it's, it's such a wide, I mean, there's just so much to it that you can, <coughs> yeah, and you, and you can change, you know, you say, well, gee, I've had enough of moose. <laughs> I saw a whole flock of geese on someone's lawn <laughs> on the way, speaking of birds. You know, a whole flock of Canada geese on the uh, lawn on uh, Peasley Road, so I thought it was pretty cool. Yeah. I know they're a nuisance to some people, but I think they're cool. <laughs> yeah. 
So the way uh, this works is uh, we're going to let you go in a minute or two, and uh, we'll take a vote later, and I'll get back to you with confirmation or not. Um, it's a $500 scholarship that we give to you for your second semester as long as your grade point average is up. Okay, not on probation or anything like that. Okay, so um, that's what we're talking about. You can come back and see us next year if you want to, like next summer. Yeah. It's repetitive. <laughs> right. Yeah. This could roll over into something for you, you know. I mean, it's not a lot of money, Holly, but um, it's what we can offer you um, from our hearts to you, and uh, it gives you something to work with, whatever it may be, you know. You just be handed a check and that kind of thing. Maybe so. buy a book or something. Yeah, it helps, yeah. with, <laughs> helps with books. A book. Yeah, something, anyway. Now, this is your second year, your... This will be your first. Oh, this is your first year? Graduate high school, yeah. yeah. Um, I have all your contact information on the back of that agenda? Um, you should. You just needed my uh, mailing address, right? Yes. Okay. Uh, no email, no nothing like that? Uh, I, I can that. write down my email if you want. It never hurts. You know, sometimes it's easier to get you that way. Yeah. Because you're working, it's hard to get to you on the phone. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Now, what are you doing for summer work? Um, so I have two jobs right now, and then I really want to get an internship. Um, one of my friends actually offered me to work with um, the piping plovers and like doing oh, yeah. the watch for that. Yeah. So I'm definitely applying for that. And right now I'm working two part-time jobs at Onions and Build a Bear Workshop. <laughs> so those are always fun. Um, and I'm enjoying them pretty. I'm, I'm enjoying them a lot. <laughs> Build a bear this week. Yeah. All the nasty monsters out. Mm -hmm. yeah. And like I said, if you see Megan and she's interested at all, she can contact me. Absolutely. And she could go through what you just went through and explain to her. Yeah. You know, if she's going to school, are we, do we know or no? We don't know. I think she might be going to UNH. Um, last time I checked with her, I could obviously. I, ha I think I have her number, so I could. Like I said, agriculture, environmental science, that type of thing. Um, forestry, ornithology, you know, whatever it may be. <laughs> um, any other questions? Holly, we're going to let you go. Thank you very much for coming. Thank you so much for your time. Okay. <laughs> Good to see you. Good to see you, too. <laughs> Good luck in the fall. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Sure, I think sure. she's a good candidate. I think yeah. so too. Yeah. Small vote. Sincere in her, what she's doing and what her goals are. Mm -hmm. All in favor? Aye. 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 Four zero. Okay, that's great. One less to worry about. Okay. Should we make a motion for that? We may. He made a motion. We just did. Okay. We're good. All right. Yeah. Okay, that's done. Um, summer market. We just went through our. Set our fourth Wednesday at the Farmer's Market at 526 DW Highway. We have a number of vendors selling vegetables, um, pain relief, honey, uh, maple syrup, cow's milk soap, and other vegetables. I believe we got lamb also. Oh, yeah, lamb. Sullivan Farm has lamb. Yes, I forgot about that. Tomatoes are coming, everyone, but they're not quite here yet. They're on the vine, but they're not red enough yet. I saw a lot of pickles today, a lot of cucumbers, just so you know. Come down and visit us Wednesday afternoon, 3 to 6, at 526 Daniel Webster Highway, the site of vault storage. How many vendors, about nine? I think we have nine. Um, also, um, the U.S. Census Bureau call, uh, emailed me the other day. They were supposed to be there today. They were not. I expect them every week, actually. So they will be, the census people will be there. They're... They're not, they're not here to harm anybody. It's willing information if you want to give it. You don't have to give anything you don't want to give. Um, they're just trying to update the records of, of the country. U.S. Census Bureau. The, um, what else? We expect more vendors. We have advertisements out. We also advertise Wednesday morning in the Union Leader in the Farmer's Market section, the second page of the second part of the Union Leader. Um, we, we have some Gmail ads going out, Facebook ads going out, excuse me, Facebook. And our vendors can tie into that. We have a wine lady, which I forgot to mention, I'm sorry. Uh, there's no tasting, no sampling. 
We do require everybody to have a face mask and stay behind the yellow rope for safety and proper distinct, distancing is required as per, as per, as per the safety of, of everyone involved. Um, what did I miss on the front? Too much more of it? That's no. about it. More and more produce, produce showing up each week too. Absolutely. Okay, moving on. Um, item C, community garden update. Um, we sold half of the plots. The gardeners are really up, a lot of fencing up. Uh, the rabbits are chewing through the plastic fence, I heard. Not a woodchuck problem this year, but there's a rabbit problem. It's been an awful lot of those guys yeah, around. I'm seeing them everywhere. It's, it's, it's nice. Uh, and they, they know enough to chew through the plastic fence where the woodchucks would not ever do that. They would so just dig under. <laughs> totally <laughs> different <laughs> thing over there. <laughs> um, I don't see any deer problems. I don't see any turkey problems. Are they problems getting to the, the, the vegetables? The they're, yeah, they're getting into everything. <laughs> Absolutely everything. Rabbit that's, issues. That's what I heard. Uh, Ronnie uh, did a lot of painting on the... Um, Kiosk. Thank you. <laughs> um, the whiteboard's been cleaned off. Um, I have a big blow up of the map uh, with, the, with the certain numbers and the farmer's name, the gardener's names on it, uh, which I have to put up. And um, I think it's a really good summer, a really good community garden this year. So hope everybody enjoys it. I had oh I had to uh, I got an SOS call a couple of weeks ago. One of the faucets was leaking, so I had to go down and take the brass faucet off. Go to Home Depot, and for fifteen dollars I bought two of them. So I have a spare now. And they put a new one back on and fixed the leak, shut the water off, turned it back on again. So at some point, I, I wish the um, I'll take the, care of that right now. The commission yeah. would start the refund process. Make a motion for thirty dollars. Thirty dollars. Fifteen dollars. I thought you bought two. Of them. Wait, two for fifteen. Seven fifty each. Okay. okay. Uh, make a motion to approve payment to Bob of fifteen dollars for two brass spigots for use in the community garden. I'll second the reimbursement. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Four zero. Thank you. I do have a spare for next time. I mean, it's been five or six years, I guess, with that irrigation system. So, you know, it, the things are bound to have maintenance issues. That's all I have for the community garden. There are a few more plots for for rent. If anybody out there is interested, I mean, we have some weeds now, but they can be pulled in a ten by ten plot. They can be pulled up pretty easily, and you can just jump on the garden. But Again, it's up to you guys. Moving on, questions? No. Mm -mm. Moving on, item D, Memorial Tree discussion for Pete Gagnon. I cornered the assistant town manager today and the superintendent of park and recreation. And we do have an approval to plant a red delicious apple tree at the community garden site on the other side by near the hydrant somewhere. Once the excavation work of the two bathhouses has been completed, it's also the middle of summer right now. It's really hot. I don't believe the nurseries would have. Um, Did you say yellow delicious or red delicious? Red delicious red. Okay. is what Nancy requested. Um, we'd have a prime tree. We might have a better. I might have a better selection in September when it starts cooling off. The point of my discussion is. I kind of know where it's going, and I'll finalize that with the superintendent when the time comes. How much does the commission want to put into this? So that effort? would be going up at Wasserman? Correct. Um, near the community garden? Opposite. It's actually in the volleyball field. Kind of where the pool used to be. Where the pool, where the bathhouses yeah. used to be. Yeah, I don't really go down there. That near much. the fire hydrant somewhere. Oh, okay. Left side of the field was, was the thought, left side of the field. Um, my, my question is... So, what what's a what's a um, the starter go for usually for one tree? Well, we want something that's and when is the best time really to plant? Along. Yeah, we as a as a landscaper and harvest, we would start a nominal size tree would be two inch caliber mm -hmm. diameter, two and a half inch caliber, three inch caliber, so on and so forth, four inch caliber. In the in the catalogs, it usually starts there, inch and a half, two inch, two and a half inch, three inch. I've been looking at wholesale catalogs that we have, that we've used. Two and a half inch caliber, red delicious tree, 
my price wholesale at the nursery picked up is about three hundred dollars. Huh? Huh? Three and a half, four inch could be four hundred, four four hundred fifty dollars. You see, I'm going with this. Mm -hmm. I mean, we we would put it in. Right. I'll get Kyle to drop the mini off, you know, and bring Loam over there and chip it, stake it, all that stuff. And we'd also be close to the hydrant, which has a water faucet on it. Right. So that's kind of key. I'll take a pail, or one of us take a pail of water mm -hmm. periodically. Um, my question is, how much do you want to put into this? Well, my, my other question was, I know it's going to be in, mem in memory of him. Would that would that also require a a plaque or like a name? No, Paul asked me that. We didn't talk about a plaque. No. Not with Nancy and I. No, never did. So. Um, we don't want to get into a plaque if we don't have to, mm -hmm. because it's just something else to mow around. Or get know. vandalized. Correct. Broken. Correct. Oh, that's true. We all know it's peach tree. We're going to mm -hmm. keep it growing. We're going to fertilize it. We're going to take care of it, prune it. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to let them prune it. You know that type of thing. We take care of it for peat. We got to buy for, uh, spray for the. Uh, no, we can't spray over there, Ronnie. That's that's against the rules. We can't do any spraying. Oh, that's right. I'm it's going to be on its own. Red Delicious is might get a little apple scab. But yeah. if it doesn't rain too much like it did this year, it won't be that spotty. Yeah. It won't be a big deal. It won't have fruit for a couple of years anyway after the transplant. Right. I just you know, so. made mention of that, yeah. But from my heart to yours, <coughs> Pete's, I mean, are we in for 300 Are we in for 400 500 Where are we going? I'd motion uh, that we I move up to $500, purchase the largest tree, tree we can up to $500. Best you talk to him. What do you yeah, think? Yeah, I think that's, that's good. We want a good-sized tree. Mm -hmm. And it's a good, healthy one. And I think, you know, up to $500 is certainly. Ronnie, what do you think? Uh, I think Pete's definitely worth it and his family. Uh, he's done a lot for the town. And I think up to $500 for what the biggest we can get would be, you know, great. Well, yeah, and I'll see what I can get. I don't know what, what's available yet, you know, and I won't know until right after Labor Day when they start digging again, you know. Um, there's no markup on my end. It's a wholesale price from me to you. Um, I have the account, Big Lowe's or, or Weston Nursery or whatever, you know, unless you guys have a well, we have to take care another of option. Yeah. No, I, I think that that's, if that's what she would like. I mean, it certainly grew pretty in the spring. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and the flowers. The producer some fruit mm -hmm. as well. I mean, we don't have a lot of money this year. You, you see the numbers. No. Well, yeah. I think maybe we should leave it this way. Maybe between three and five hundred, whatever tree we can see it that looks the health the best for our purpose. Between we'll three, cap it at five. Three, three, Obviously you three to right. five. Okay. So somewhere in that range. Mm -hmm. yep. You know, if you that's see something fair. for three, that's that's wonderful. You that's know, very I mean, fair. That, you know, you, you're going to look at the tree and say this is the best in shape, size, yeah, everything. Exactly. Yeah, absolutely right. Okay. All right. Any further questions on a tree? Should we vote on? We should, we should vote on we the vote on the money. Yeah, we should. Make a motion that we will approve up to $500 maximum uh, for the purchase of the memorial tree for Julie and Paul. PJ. PJ. Is there a second? I uh, second that. All in favor? Aye. 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 Four zero, thank you. Okay, moving forward, um, item E, discussion of winter market funds. I put this on the agenda because I think we should chat about it, and um, otherwise it's going to sit there in limbo forever. If we have a discussion about it and vote on something, a direction of these funds. Is this in? Use them, pay some bills, um, uh, get rid of the, the account we don't need anymore. Ronnie? Could we dissolve part of these funds to help pay for the scholarship program? Or for, just to get for the, Pete's or for Pete's, Pete's tree, either tree. or. It could be done that way, sure. Like sure. take a chunk of it off and use another account. Well, there's not much. In there's not much of a chunk. <laughs> well, I mean, it's I'm, all, I'm all in favor of just dissolving the accounts, absorbing it into the, our, I mean, not general fund, whatever we want to call it, and just yeah, use it as. It'd be community garden or summer market. Right. right. So. The winter right. market's not. Either way, back yeah. And yeah. Whatever it is, we can revisit that. Mm -hmm. When the time comes, the time comes. create again. Yeah. Well, we'll just transfer the. That's probably a, yeah. Make a motion. It's probably easier to do it that way. 
So we'll make a motion that we dissolve any existing funds in the winter market and transfer them to the summer market account. Is there a second? Yeah, I'll second it. Um, All in favor? Question? Aye. 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 Four zero. Thank you. I'll pass that information on. Um, I didn't have any bugs today because there's no corn borders in it, but we still have ticks. Since we got the since we got the rain, we got a few mosquitoes. mosquitoes. Boy, they showed up. Bad horse flies too out there. We have deer flying here. Go in my around. truck. Want to go see Brenda's with the lambs? They drive down. They they cover the windshield and everything. I put the windows out. Really, Ron? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay, uh, you want to talk about horses or not, Beth? Sure. Oops, sorry. A little, little something here. And because we have had a lot of hot weather, uh, I'm just going to run through a few tips and I'll elaborate a little bit more when I write up the, the minutes. But um, I'll start out with heat stroke can happen any time to your horse is exposed to excessive heat and that his body cannot handle. Heat stroke can ha happen if exercising in hot conditions but be aware that it can also happen if standing in a hot stall or trailer. So here's a couple of, or 10 actually, or nine now, um, pointers. Choose cooler turnout times, <coughs> provide shade, move the air, fans uh, are a great way to help keep air moving in a barn. Mist your horse if you have a misting system, which is helpful, I've used them in the past. Uh, provide fresh cool water and electrolytes as, as needed depending on what your horse is doing. Slow down the work. Don't, be, don't, don't think just because your horse has been working intensely at 1 p.m. every day that it can take the heat when the temperature tops 90 degrees Fahrenheit. If you have work, if you have to work your horse in the heat, lighten the work or spread it out over a couple of short sessions. Stick to a schedule within the parameters of keeping him cool. Try to stay as close as possible to his normal schedule. Avoid sunburn. Horses, especially white horses, can suffer sunburn. Even those with white socks and blazes, pink noses, or hairless patches from scarring can be susceptible. Using a fly skim can help. In addition, applying sunblock to small, particularly vulnerable areas can be effective as well. Clip horses with longer hair coats. Uh, clipping is important, especially for those with pituitary uh, problems like um, um, horses that are foundered or um, Cushing's disease. And as I said, know your horse's signs of heat stroke and uh, just uh, have a good summer, but be safe. Very nice. Thank you. Questions? Item G, treasurers? Oh, yes. The Agriculture Commission Farmers Market Fund account as of 6-30-2020. The balance for the summer market is $2,275.46 with the, um, let's see, we have, no, I guess it isn't, it's $4,174.47. And the community garden fund account is $1,895.71 with a combined total of $6,070.18. And the winter account, farmer's market account, is at 165.42. Uh, there's a couple items on the bottom I wasn't expecting, right in the front page. Okay, face mask for farmer's markets. Yeah. And the hand sanitizer. Right. I, I understood that the CARE Act was paying for all that stuff, and I can't believe that we are being charged for any of that from a safety point of view. So if that's true, if we really have to pay that bill, I'm not going to take any more stuff from whoever's sending that bill to us. You understand what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I, I feel very outraged. So, so the few things that we've used thus far, we're going to get billed for? Read the number, Beth, please. Um, hand sanitizer, 10 bottles, $89.90, and face masks for farmer's market, 400 at 72 cents each at $288. And I was told today the, the masks were 32 cents each. Mm. Well, look at the price. There's 72 here. There's, there's 10 small bottles of hand sanitizer. 890 each. Okay. 
Is it a sin? Well, it is a lot when you can go to the dollar store and, you know. <laughs> and then I got new um, signs from them, too. And I wonder if I'm going to get a bill for the signs now. God forbid. I wonder, what I what, sign, what signs are those? Not One-way signs, no parking signs, oh. parking with arrow. I think uh, we need I mean, I... Uh, Question and we have the we have the, the signs that Marshall signs did. Yeah, you know, so. definitely. I think we need to question that bill. Yeah, I, mean, I, I definitely. There's a, there, there, there's a, a national relief package available to us that we're supposed to be utilizing. That was explained in the <clears throat> by the New Hampshire Agricultural Extension about running farmers markets, and that is allotted safety products for operations like a farmers market. I agree, the town Paul. Was given I, that, right? the town, I definitely we, think we didn't that, buy yeah. that. That was given to us, right? Six hundred and seven thousand dollars. Yeah. So the fact that we're being, we're, we're, we're told we have to buy through them, that should just be given to us as needed. I definitely think a, a meeting with them would be helpful to figure out what's happened. I mean, could have been a mistake. I, I don't know. It would help to have a meeting and talk to them about it, for sure. Mm -hmm. When are we available? You want me to do it? Or, uh, I mean, I'm I'm off on Fridays, so. Oh, that's not that right. Okay. So, I mean, whatever's easier. I mean, I mean I you just be careful how many people are in a room as well. So, I don't know if we, but we'll have to set it up and figure it out. We'll, we'll go okay. from there, you know, mm -hmm. for okay. sure. Sure. But <coughs> yeah, it's it's unfortunate. I saw that. I just saw that invoice. On. What's the numbers on that again, please? So hand sanitizer was what? The hand sanitizer was eighty nine ninety, and the face mask was two eighty eight. Ten bottles. And the masks were we to two. charge for the masks? Was that, uh, that were required? Four hundred at seventy two at, at two hundred and eighty eight dollars. Yeah. <clears throat> I definitely think a meeting with them would be beneficial. Figure this out, see what's going on. And Okay, so um, are we good with treasures? Yeah. Good. Yep. Uh, review of draft minutes, March 11th, our last meeting. Um, there's a couple things that we have to finalize because uh, finance won't catch me up without this. Has anybody read? You want to take a minute to read the minutes? Gus did a really nice job. I read them earlier. I didn't see anything. Yeah, it looked good when I was earlier. Yeah. Gus, you want to read? For no, what uh, it was fine with me, I guess. I just didn't, did you find anything that you wanted to change? No, no, no changes. I just want you to final uh, vote on something for sure. me on two things. Oh, okay. Um, paragraph B summer market halfway <coughs> down. Bob asked the board to approve $55 for a roll of stamps for the summer market. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I need you to final approve $55 for the first roll of stamps. I make a motion. Oh, okay. Oh, I see. It was approved fifty five dollars to a purchase roll of stamps yeah. to use for the summer market and community garden mailings. And then we made the motion to approve Bob's draft for fifty. Oh, we did made the but that was not good enough. Not to them. Make a motion that we finalize the approval of payment of fifty five dollars to Bob for the reimbursement of purchasing stamps. I'll second the motion. All in favor? Aye. Four zero. Thank you. The next one is um, the second page, bottom. Comments from the commission. Bob Aye. asked the board's consideration to approve yeah. seventy-five dollars to attend a course on invasive species. I move that final we, approval on I'll that. I'll make a motion to make a final approval of seventy-five dollars to Bob for reimbursement for attendance of the invasive species course. And second the motion. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Four zero. Thank you. Um, then now it's for approval of uh, March 11 minutes. Sorry. I Fine. move that we accept the minutes from the meeting on March 11th, 2020. Second it. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Four Aye. zero. Thank you. I have one more thing since we already did the faucets. During the course of our hundred and something day hiatus, I bought a roll of postcard stamps 
to remind potential vendors, 100 of them for $35. Um, I might have verbally talked about this with you guys months ago. I would like a final approval on the $35 for postcard stamps. Um, Make it a motion. I, I remember that back. Yes, I recall that too. You, you were unsure. Wasn't that February? Cost. Yes, he, asked, he had asked originally for uh, the okay to go purchase the stamps. We said sure, so now he's asking for your final approval, correct? For the money? I am asking for final approval, yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, I don't know if I have February best with Let me look. You got them? February. This goes the best one. It's March. Yep. Uh, best is Another one. Oops, sorry. For the month January. Yeah. These are all the months we missed. We, uh, January. February agenda. February minutes. What would have been under? 20? 35. I don't have it. <laughs> it was for the it was for the market, right? For farmers market, yes. For Wait postcards. Because I had blue postcards from last year and I sent them all out. Well, I don't have that right here, but Yeah, I know. I'm gonna make a motion for the approval of $35 reimbursement to Bob postcard. for the postcard stamp purchase that he has already made. Yep. Looks up. Second, Second the motion. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Best. Yeah, I'm writing. 4 0. Thank you. Um, we approve the March 11 minutes. We're all done? Yep. Okay. I think so. Okay. Um, comments from the press? Comments from the public? Comments from the commissioners? <clears throat> Senator Markets rolling. We could use some help. Love to see more of you swing by. You got some goods to sell? It's made in New Hampshire. Come on, give Bob a call. Drop us a line. Plenty of road traffic. Definitely true. Um, also, um, we had 50 yard signs printed. Um, and I, I think the price is reflected. I thought they were $400. And I'm looking at 575 on that list. I have to look through my notes to confirm that. Um, anyway, I hope that wasn't. Well, there'd be, um, do you have any with you tonight? I just gave them all to Johnny. How many do you need? I'll drop some off. Well, I have a, a few friends I could, I think I'm going to. Five, ten? I put many? one on my lawn. I'll have to mm -hmm. check with Carrie. If I had my truck, I, I have one in my truck. Well, I'd get them next week when I come to market. Okay, how many? Oh, maybe three. Okay. If they're small, you could take five, you know. <laughs> well, you have to, you know, I mean. I mean, they'll give them back to you in the fall, and then you will put them. Well, that's true, but I have to know who I'm, you know. I see. All right. You want me to? Put the legs on them or not? Doesn't matter. Okay. I know how to do it. Ronnie, how, how many do you need for a uh, gas house? I still got uh, the two, the original. Well, get them out there. The OGs. You know? Go over there. <laughs> Are they still uh, locked down over there or what? What? Grandpa. Haven't you? Well, put the signs out. I'll be over, yeah. Paul, how many do you need? I got mine out over there. Thank you. I put one in my front yard too. Well, I have a. I actually put Bess's in my front yard. Yeah. Well, I'm going to check. Four. I didn't notice that John had his out when I went by. So. Well, let me know if he needs one. I have, yeah, but I have a couple of friends that I've asked. Sure. I and one I've asked, and she said yes. And yeah. I'm going to ask a, a couple of others that I know. Like, um, mm -hmm. I'm going to stop and see. Um, um, out back and Pam Dahl and I'm gonna because she is out in the neighborhood mm -hmm. and um, a couple others that are kind of invisible. We have exercise. If anybody out there wants a Merrimack Farmers Market yard sign, 
to temporarily put in their front yard for advertising for our purposes, uh, please contact me and uh, I can deliver it in Merrimack. Uh, we, we'd appreciate the advertising, the free advertising. Um, we have a lot of Wednesdays left here. We have 14 Wednesdays left. A lot of good vendors, a lot of good product out there on Wednesday afternoons. Please, please, please come down and see us. Give the vendors a chance to show up so they can show you what they have, what they've grown, what they've sweated over to, to bring to market. Uh, something to think about. Um, and what Paul was getting at is we have 14 more Wednesdays. It's, it's a lot of work setting up that way for safety and so on and so forth. So um, save your energy, everybody, and use it and come to the market early and help us. Um, other than that, we're looking for new members for the Merrimack Agriculture Commission. We will see you uh, the second Wednesday in August, same time, same place. Any questions we can help you with, please contact us. Um, we'd love to see some personal interest and help. Okay? Anything else? That would be the 12th. August 12th is our next meeting. Uh, motion to adjourn. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. The time is 7.30. Thank you all for listening. You have a great evening. See you at the market.